the more I play this game, the more I realize I suck. Welcome back to Car X, and um, I didn't even realize I had more of this. Look at all the options I have. Look at the fitment. I mean, it was worse a minute ago. This is actually my second time playing Car X on the channel, and I'm super in love with this game. Today, I just wanted to go through some of this car catalog and purchase a couple of them, because my lord, it is full of amazing, amazing cars that you don't get in most games, because technically, they're not licensed. I didn't even know I could do fitment on the side here. Whoa, 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 I'm making them. I'm making the wheels bigger. What? I was assuming it was to fit on me again. Technically, yes, fitment. But I've also done maybe two or three events and I'm already level eight. Level 12 is the max level. I've almost got everything unlocked. I just don't understand this game. If we, we got this equipped, we go to, oh, there's so much. That's good. Don't get me wrong, but I want it spaced out. Pace it a little bit. There's a lot. We're going to buy the solo, which is basically the eclipse if you don't know welcome i'm the biggest eclipse fanboy you will ever meet and i st i don't own one now we have most of these available of course there's the ultimate which just kind of squats the back of the car a little bit now we do have all of this that we can convert and change and everything oh my god the max steering angle and stuff amazing anti-roll bars camber wait we can do everything i'm gonna put some mad negative camber on the front i see that at the track and i want to do it <laughs> let's start with the basics we have body reams tires let's go to the body oh we only have body kits available for this guy that's a shame you know me i wanted to go full crazy rice mode with it i'm an idiot so, I told you we have everything. You just got to choose a body kit first. I'm literally I don't know how this game works so The base body kit is just to enable customization. The second one adds a little bit of spice What on earth is going on? This eclipse is gonna be <laughs> Of course, I decided on the craziest body kit available and I'm gonna make some beautiful adjustments to make it nice and spice Of course the eclipse is oh, it's one of those that there's just just not really any major big builds out there that I've seen. The Eclipse is one of those cars. It's just available in this. I'm removing the hood again. It's only available in the States. And therefore, roof scoop, we don't get it. I mean, technically, it's also in Europe. Yes, yes, yes. But not this Europe. That, therefore, I don't see any of them. Therefore, I am sad. We're going with that. That rear is... <laughs> <laughs> insane and of course we get to customize the wing and you know what this wing is super clean I'm gonna get rid of those ricey lights because i'm not what is that it looks like an alien's head aston martin light it's an aston and of course the exhaust system as well do we go for the jewel tips i, I kind of like those very very kind of crazy we're gonna get rid of this jank steering wheel it's so nasty in the base one. Oh, and the tires have tire text too YOLO tired. I see. Mm, yes. Another thing I completely missed last time is also the window tintage. And finally to fix this horrendous fitment. Oh, there's also tire width. Oh man, this is I'm gonna spend all day here. I'm done. This is my brand new eclipse looking so good i love this thing so much all right so i'm currently on the test run there's something you can do as well let's see how we get on now i've got a little bit better since i last tried in terms of the actual drifting i know what i'm doing a little bit more now so don't you worry i've also set my controls to be a bit more how i want them to be and of course i've first time first time driving the eclipse so it's a little bit different it's nice everything feels a little bit different on this game and of course we've only just set this up i've been using the sylvia a little bit and honestly overall i'm doing much much better so i'm gonna spend a little bit of time just testing out the eclipse it's looking so good the eclipse needs to be in more racing games again i miss my bait i miss it being in everything i mean was it ever in everything i don't i don't actually know but <laughs> all right what's the camera view button i completely forget there we go i found it i'm gonna mess this up Look at that drift camera view. I changed the FOV to be a bit wider on the interior view because that's how it should be, in my opinion. But look at this. Oh, man, I'm so ready to set up a wheel and give this a proper go. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's do some proper events. Whoa. Oh, it puts me here now to set up the car. So I can easily keep... Oh, that's it. So you buy the events is the interesting thing. Unless it's DLC. I bought the DLC 
expansion things. So we ultimately, these events at the bottom right are like open world maps, as you can see on the left here. I'm very much looking forward to playing on that and then playing with those online. And of course, just setting up open lobbies, because if you didn't know, this is on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, cross play here we go first event of the day let's see how we do i did this yesterday in reverse it took me a couple of times but i eventually got it right i'm gonna hit that oh we're okay we made it into a 360 we made it look like we meant to do it keep those wheels are spinning i don't feel like the wheels are spinning as quick as the sylvia did i don't quite know where we are power wise or how everything's set up on this game it's the drift setting like set up for every car to be the same I don't know. Time will tell. I'm still a baby. I jumped on this to... Uh, no! I'm stuck in the... I need to reset. Help! What's my reset? What did I change it to? I actually really wanted to jump onto some of this yesterday to play in my free time, but I noticed that I was going to unlock everything so fast. That's going to be like what my one complaint is. Everything is so easy to unlock, even though there's a way to purchase like your whole way through the game, which is... Um, with this type of game, fine. But I would like, personally, an option would be a hard difficulty option that lets me grind a little bit. I'm not saying grind, but if I can complete one event, and this car costs five grand and I earn maybe like 600,000 from one event, I just think that's a little bit mad. Like a little bit. It's basically set up for Forza people. I get it. <laughs> but give us the option. That's what I'm asking. I cool. I came on here thinking I was going to do nothing but time attacks. But to be honest with you, I'm just Skidman McCheese. Don't hit the thing. He's going to hit the thing himself. I only got... Right. We need to do it again. But look, I, I did badly. Okay. That was bad. I crashed a lot. 200,000 reward. I'm going to say, and so far, I'm not liking how much grip is in this car. Of course, I can do some tuning to get it to be much better. But I gotta, I've got to... I've got... My Sylvia is set up so nice. I've just got to get used to this a little bit, you know? But the angle I can get now is so much better than it was. Still trying to get used to between the clutch kick and the handbrake, which one I should be using on this game. But the, the fact that I've got both there is awesome. It's just so smooth, baby. Got to get this nice and wide. That's the thing. I'm not making... I'm still using it like it's a time attack game or something. I'm trying to... Do my best to get around the course as quickly as possible, but that's not the aim of the game, Sire. It's all about the skids. Oh, and when you do go wide, it gives you like a... a oh, no, he's messed it up. A proximity counter, which is really, really nice. Nice and smooth, baby. Get that transition popping on. Carry on. No, no, no. Oh, you messed it up. You're a baboon. I know. Get some bigger angle to try and get some of those points because we're close to the finish there. But as you can see, doing much better than I did previously. I'd still say I get it. I mean, I know it's an arcade style feel for the drifting. Very much so. <laughs> but, oh, oh my God, I'm stuck at the blade. I remember. Oh, I thought I was properly in there. But I'm the type of person that would like a little bit more realism in there. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Where am I going? There's a finish. Uh, I'm not going to make gold. Damn it. 400,000 for that. It's so easy. This car cost me five grand. <laughs> if I go over to the garage. And also levels. As I said, levels is a thing that I'm having to get used to. It's all like a thing so quick that I've got 20 different cars that I want to try. But, and I'm really like one more event and I'm unlocking even more than I want to try. That's the bit that I'm sucking at, to be honest. Like I want to space it out, but I can't. By the time I'm used to a car, I'm like, all right, all right. Nah, next car, next car. And that's ignoring the fact that I've got all of these to play with as well, including my Sylvia. I'm going to jump back to my Sylvia and try that event once more. I'm used to this so much more so. And I can get so much more angle. I think it, maybe it's the grip setup that I put at the front of the Eclipse. Again, I just I, I love that I can experiment and tune and do so much on this game. But like, look at the angle I can get with this car compared. It's literally mental. So we've already got bronze <laughs> easy peasy so much angle from this machine the grip at the front is that is that what i've messed up I, like is it just the car's not quite as good there's so many things to play with i'm sure i can either way i can make it as good just a little bit more time to play with the settings already got the silver bit too much angle back out of that one just kind of <laughs> eject almost and done <laughs> I feel like I still got half the course left. Man, I love this game. It's so much fun. 
So much fun. Ultimate transition, baby. I know. I'm going to keep doing the transition because uh, <laughs> there's a car now. And I'm trying to munch you. Get it going. Here we go. Here we go. Don't go through that container because that's not the way you go. Here's the finish. And across. Mate. <laughs> As I said again, I just got over a million for that one. This game is just so overwhelming how many cars I unlock and stuff. And like, I, I do a little thing. And all of a sudden, I've got 20 new vehicles to play with. That's the thing I suck at. Trying to just balance it. I've got 7 million. You get so much money from these events. Anyway, the Subaru has now been built to be ready for racing. And I've done some modifications on this already to make it a little bit spicier because the wheels by default were like 17s and they look so tiny. So I put them up to 19s, made them properly grippy. In fact, I might reduce that a little bit. And yeah, but now we're going to play with this. We can actually also do transmission customization with these, which is pretty sick. Okay, time attack. For time attacks, you get a little bit less money, but... That's the main reason I bought the game. Watch this grip. So I've already done this, but like, look at the grip going on here. Oh my God, I think I've put the more grip on it. What have I done? Look at me just wobbling all over. I was properly not used to this car at that point, but I'm gonna try and beat me. I gotta beat my ghost while I'm sliding. That's not a bad idea to be honest with you. I think I properly went off the track last time though. I don't know how, but I still managed to get gold after missing like two turns. It's a little bit easy. Okay, I, again, to be fair, it's not scale to my car is. I'm just sliding. Gonna pull some like all wheel drive clutch kick slides. All wheel drive skids. It's, it works pretty well and it's very useful to get around some of the turns properly. I've still got a few of the uh, things to play with. Of course, I'm still not properly messed with the assists on this game. I think there are some. That's the way I went last time. Every time I see a pass through like that, I'm like, ah, oh, there you go. That's a shortcut. No, <laughs> that's the way back to the other side of the damn track. Where's the finish? Right there. Hammer down, clutching <laughs> into the wall. But there you go. I got 78,000 times two. 140 grand. That's so much money. I'm going to keep playing through this game. We're going to keep smashing it. If you guys love it, please let me know by smashing the like and I'll keep posting even more of it. Maybe next time I'll be with Matthew. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new. And of course, if you have any more tips for me, let me know down in the comments. Until next time, peace.